gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to a very special episode of Preston Cam Play. Here we are. Got nothing. Okay. Just don't have one this time. They can't. Al they can't always have one. Mm -hmm. You know, we all have on days and we all have off days. Mm -hmm. And I was gonna give a heartfelt speech about that, but I think I've already done that like three or four times since we've been playing video games together. It's okay to not feel okay, everyone. If you've been here for a while, already know that. See you, suckers. You vast idiots. <laughs> you hopeless buffoons. Oh, God. <laughs> Deuces. Morons. Do they want my shit? You do should be able to interact with them, oh. okay? I was like, do they want any part of my flavor? Because <laughs> at first I thought I was getting away with something, but then I felt undesirable and I hated it. <laughs> you trying to get with this, or? <laughs> if you want to be my lover, oh, no. you've got to get with my friends. <laughs> What? Cure beam. Yeah, do a punch on someone. Ding. Oh yeah, I think there was things like have very high defense, but like only like ten hit points. Mm. Yeah. So it like, tricks you. I was thinking I that they were resistant to physical damage, sometimes so I'd I use magic. Don't. Sometimes I just don't understand the like logic behind. Anime creations. Yeah, video games suck. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Hey, video games. See, are we finding know. little weeds? Little weed leaves? They're supposed to be like. I burnt, I burnt one. They're supposed to be little like puddles. Mm, like how you feel after you smoke the devil's lettuce. Yeah. Like a puddle. Mm. Huh? Oh, I guess you had to fight those things. Open hatch. Hatch doors are open. Which hatch should I open? This one? Yeah, huh. there you go. Freedom! They may take our land, but they'll never take my best friend, the robot. Sick. Yeah. It's actually dope as hell. Thanks for noticing. No problem. Thanks for being a pal. Thank you for being a friend. <sighs> yeah, it's stressful, right? Yeah, this is, uh, this is one of my... I feel like I've said this before about, like, this, like, era. Mm -hmm. Like, the future setting of the game, but like this dungeon in particular is probably my least favorite part of the game. <laughs> Why is that? It's just like nothing happens. It's really redundant and like you're fighting the exact same enemy over and over again and like the scenery is really boring to me. Yeah. Um it's just I just don't find this Maybe like, you just hate robots. An interesting setting. Maybe that's a flaw you have compared to like the other stuff and yeah. also like because like you hate super cool robots because like this is like this era is sort of after all the bad stuff happens mm -hmm. like there aren't really any stakes here like nothing is really happening here it's all because everyone's hungry there's no stake anywhere right exactly so like there aren't really any like characters <laughs> in this era to like be invested in besides Robo I was gonna say my best friend the robot and like the old man doing from like the last dome and yeah, my other best like, friend. There's just like a couple characters that, that exist in this time, and neither of them really do much of anything. Mm -hmm. um, except for the one that joins you. Whereas like forsakes their except entire for Robo, past. Yeah, yeah, and the, all the other areas like are very rich in like narrative. You know. Oh, so you're only interested if they're wealthy. You a gold digger. Kanye warned me about your ilk. I've learned to identify you by your stench. Well, that is something. Huh. <gasps> Laser. Whoa. Laser beams. No. Just keep shaking his head, huh? He says, yeah. Not doing it. No, no, no. Chrono, more like crow. No. Hey, am I right? Hey, but a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Could I be any more right right now? Chrono says no. I have a hard time telling what anything is. <laughs> Everything just looks like another techno babble. Yeah. Did it. Hmm. Got him. Should I use this thing that's objectively better? Do 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 Scooby do 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 Boots and cats. 
What you thinking? Just looking. Space. Satellites. Mm-hmm. Orbits. Gum. Heat-seeking missiles. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Piranhas. Piranha fishes or piranha plants? <clears throat> Probably fish. Okay. Interesting. Oh no! <laughs> Who could have ever for, ever foreseen this outcome? Except for me. Uh, Punch roughly. Wow! Well, I always Punch know when trouble's wow. coming. I can smell it. I can smell it like the cigarettes on my breath after I eat a whole cart of cigarettes. <laughs> And I really commit to my hand. <gasps> I'm Punch Roughly. After I ate a cigarette sandwich. I ate a Tommy gun for breakfast. <laughs> a Tommy gun for dessert. My, I, I, my mom gave birth to me and she hated it because my five o'clock shadow was oh, particularly no. obtuse. Oh, Not obtuse, oh, uncomfortable. Oh, Punch Roughly. <laughs> <laughs> but after I was born, the doctor wrapped me up in my first trench coat and he said, Oh, it's going to be a detective. <laughs> and he could have been more right. So I reached in his pocket and I snatched his carton of cigarettes and I ate the whole damn thing right there. Congratulations, Mrs. Ruffley. It's surly. It's a badass. <laughs> Congratulations, Mrs. Ruffley. It's got a troubled past. <laughs> the doctor pulled out a revolver gun named by name the Thomason 8420. <laughs> and he pointed at her and he looked me in the eyes and he said, are you watching, Punch? Are you watching? And he pulled the hammer back. As a, and he, I saw his finger pressuring the plate of the gun that makes the bullet happen. <laughs> and my little two-minute-old hands acted on instinct alone, and I snatched the Tomlinson 8420 out of his hand, <laughs> and I tied it up into a bow, and I said, are you watching, doctor? <laughs> and I ate the damn thing. Right there in front of God and everyone. <coughs> if there was a God, that is. And there was a God until <laughs> Punch roughly strangled him. I think a case could be made that there's not. Father roughly was God, and I had to go to heaven to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know I didn't grow up knowing my dad it wasn't until I died and went to heaven until I met that son of a bitch <laughs> I pulled his tongue out <laughs> tied it around his throat like a birthday present said happy birthday birthday boy <laughs> goodness wow. happy bar mitzvah <laughs> and I pulled out my six shooter and I went bang Bang, 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 six times. Times the four I did, so it was many shots. Until my Tomlinson 8420 went click. <laughs> I don't know if I have a good gravelly voice. I think I just make my throat hurt. No, you're doing great. And then I'm like, I'm doing, that's a good, that's a Dang joke. It. Everyone's laughing at my joke. <laughs> my joke. I, Ton Mitchell, wrote. I'm Punch Roughly. Wow. Familiar. <laughs> familiar too, space. Perhaps too familiar. <laughs> oh, I understand maybe, what happened here. Maybe a little too familiar. I've already been up here. This is... <laughs> this is old news. Maybe I'll just run in circles a whole bunch of times. <laughs> I think I'm... If it's all the same to you, I think I'm gonna put a hold on Punch Roughly for oh, a yeah, 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 while. Yeah. Punch Roughly, take a five. We've added a lot to the lore. Take a break. That was very rich. Really, content. really fleshed out some stuff for Punch. Yeah. Wow. I thought when you, you did the bit about him taking the gun and tying it in a knot, in a knot mm -hmm. I thought you were going to have newborn punch roughly grab the barrel of the gun and put it up against the <laughs> and dare the doctor to shoot. What's your problem, Doc? You scared? Too scared to kill what you've created? 
Do you think? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is the doctor Punch Ruffley's father? I. Yeah. <laughs> but not clear? <laughs> guess it just hadn't occurred to me. Uh. No, I guess, yeah, I guess he is. Based on <laughs> the evidence provided. <laughs> Using context clues. What's your problem, God? Are you hiding in heaven because you too fear what you created? Bing bong. I'm stuck here. This computer wants you to put in the password. Bing bong. What's the button? I mean, you haven't found the password, but I can uh, tell you if you just don't want to do the rest of this dungeon. No, we'll do everything your way. This one's better. I didn't realize I hadn't done the whole dungeon yet. Yeah, yeah. Do I have to go through here? No. That's Is this the right way? No, that's the one that I'll... No. Do I go here? You're a sassy pants. I'm a sassy gorilla. <laughs> oh. There it is. Mmm, Titan's vest. We've slain the very gods. <laughs> I've never hurt my throat in ways that I'll not soon forgive myself for. <laughs> I appreciate your commitment to all of that. Thank you. You really went for it. I really, truly, and no one could say I did not go for it in that moment. I wouldn't. Especially not in 40 more years when I can't speak. <laughs> Anymore. My regret is doing punch roughly voice. <laughs> I'll lay there on my deathbed. <laughs> my hands firmly grasp around my doctor god dad's throat. <laughs> and I'll say, there's no s subtle subtext about daddy issues here. This is all me, baby. <laughs> I'll probably cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sadness on your face. These fools. Uh, what's going on, bonk, dog? Bonk, bonk, bonk. I, I kind of wish there was like future music in the factory instead of this like smooth funk. Future funk, dog. I'm <laughs> feeling it. Because there's also like some uh, urgency to it all. It's still like a worrisome place. It's a little fun and games in the future. That's true. It's not all. Funs and gums. Are you liking fighting the, all the robots? Yeah. Um, it's really fortuitous that I'm not maybe as keyed in to the combat experiences I've been in the past because I've been really getting a lot of mileage out of just mashing X. Usually I'm, I've been using more abilities, but these guys, I, I feel like they predominantly are going down pretty easily with just some sweet swipes of my sword. Yeah. I think um, it's helpful because it lets me just keep my MP. I think you might be like slightly over leveled somehow because um, you do seem to be getting through this with a severe amount of ease. Yeah, it's definitely that I'm over leveled and I've broken the game in some way. Not just that I'm fucking MLG pro dog, <laughs> um, but also like you're like we talked about last time, like you're in a part of the game where you're like you're gaining levels, but your characters aren't like gaining new abil abil abilities yeah because you have to hit like a certain story point in order mm. for that to happen and I think when they designed this they knew like that you don't yet have like like new abilities to like utilize I see so they're like we're not gonna like show anything like puzzling at you that you're gonna have to figure out so most of these like robots are just like powerful there's no trick to it. Mm -hmm. They just like attack they, you. They punch good and take hits. Yeah, like they do good punches. They do do do. <laughs> Preston say do do. Whoop! Really you got going here. Oh, you can tell what's going on. <laughs> I was just sort of there for a minute, you know. Yeah. Didn't really explain. Uh. Oh shit, we're gonna have to have a dance off. Oh, never mind. <laughs> we're just gonna have to fight a robot like we've done so often before. Ding! 
Everyone's got new weapons in this dungeon, which saves a lot more money for me to spend at the store. Yeah. Never. <laughs> Just kidding. We have Preston in the party. We're going to spend money. I I find it interesting. It's it's very. I mean, I've already remarked on this and we've talked about it a little bit, but I, it's still fascinating to me that like you put so much um, expectation on like finding stuff in the dungeon. I think in this case, like in this game, you're typically going to be right. That, mm -hmm. like, you're always going to pretty much find something for everybody in like every next dungeon. Yeah. It's the case often enough that yeah. I trust in it. And then if I do get stuck, then I know I can go to the town and immediately have yeah. four more points in my attack or whatever. Yeah. I um, had an ex that I played through most of Fallout 4 with, like the first half of it probably. Mm -hmm. And they would remark on having actual real life human anxiety watching me play because I would level up three or four times and only spend like one or two level up points. So it's always popping up in the corner saying, you have level up points to spend. Mm -hmm. Please pause the game to spend them. But my rationale was always, if I ever get stuck, I know I can immediately make myself more powerful and get past whatever I'm stuck on. So why would I do that just for the hell of it? I'd rather save those and like, ah, oh, shit, I've got three or four of these sitting around. Why don't I go ahead and get that upgrade that I don't really care about? But mm -hmm. what else am I going to spend these points on? Interesting. Yeah. Very gambly. Yeah. Welcome to it. <laughs> high chance, high risk, occasional reward. I've been rewarded before in my life. <laughs> high risk, uh, the same reward. The implication of reward. Okay, are we just going to be doing this forever? Because <laughs> I can't get off this conveyor belt right now, right? No. No, you're in this. I think this is the last one. Better be. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm <sighs> saying. Oh no, Chrono! Oh, Chrono! I guess I do want you, don't I? Uh, Eura. Yeah, there's some. This. Another, another reason that I don't love this dungeon is that, like, it's kind of puzzly and it's not really clear. Like, they don't really communicate, like, what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Um, which I'm not... Yeah, you're not, right. Like, I immediately never. got stuck at that door, and, like, luckily you were here to be like, there's a password somewhere. In my head, I'd already explored everything. Right. Which, maybe that's my bad. Maybe. <sighs> that would also require admitting fault, which why would I ever do that? No, I mean, I just... I... I was, has come up several times already. I've pretty much got this game memorized. <clears throat> but I remember pretty much got me mesmerized. Oh. But I remember clearly, um, you know, the first couple times I played this, like getting to this and just being like completely lost, <laughs> spending countless hours just like running back and forth mm -hmm. in this dungeon trying to figure out what the hell I was supposed to do. Probably remember spending countless hours shitting your pants too because you played it <laughs> pretty young, right? You're yep. still pooping your pants at twelve, right? I mean, I'd still be in my pants now. So. Natch. When's the last time you pooped your pants? I don't know. I can't remember. You can't remember? You're choosing not to reveal on recording. No, I genuinely can't remember. Mm -hmm. 2012. 2013? Oh, it was definitely like within the year. Within this year? No, like the... Not the calendar year, but like in the last... 12 months? 12 months, yeah. Mm. yeah. Cure. Beam. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, well, but not to the rest of us. New abilities. I think Robo just has got what Robo came in with. No, but he's got. You can see if you if you go to back to like the the last screen where you can select yeah, stuff. If you go to Robo's, that one that Robo tackled, how it's like grayed out. Mm -hmm. That means he's in the process of learning that right now. Ah, okay. So I guess he doesn't come to a full stop. Like Interesting. I could have an all powerful robot. Yeah. That's kind of nice. Here at my beck and call. Oh. <coughs> Guess I was standing in front of a door. Ah! Mm. Mm hmm. We'll come, we'll come back to you guys. <laughs> oh, I think that's where you want to go. Mm. Is it? So. Oh, I see. You, I'm stuck here. You, I see. Before you, yeah, get boned. I see. No, you, I get if, it. If you happen to go back, you can ride that conveyor belt, but if you touch one of the robots, that crane will come and grab you. Ah. 
and I was blocked from my line of sight, so I didn't know that happened. Right. And no one ever told you. And it was never said to me. Yeah, but this is, I mean, this is from the era of games where... That was acceptable? Yeah, they were still, like, people were used to learning stuff on the fly like that. And, like... Yeah, I'm just a spoiled millennial, right? <laughs> No, go ahead. That's what you're, what you're trying to say. I think they were like... Tell you pitiful buffoon. I think there's a period in... in you lovable... <laughs> I think there's a period in, in like, of generations and games where, like, they're in the middle of a transition from, like, games that teach you through gameplay mm -hmm. and games that are complex and they have to kind of, like, telegraph stuff mm -hmm. or just, like, flat out explain it where you get stuff that's complex but not intuitive. Mm -hmm. So you're like, what the... <laughs> well, like, like that happened. I guess okay, we're just so stuck like, here for a while. a consequence to going in that door, I guess? Yeah. Or what? The crane came, but is that why the crane came? Is the crane supposed to come? Mm -hmm. Or is that a punishment? You know what I mean? Like, so there's stuff that they like... Should I... They kind of teach you, but you're not... my stuff? You're not always aware... What do you mean? On the catwalk? Yes. Always. Should I let it all... Always. Hang out? Always be starting your stuff on the catwalk. A, B, S, C, D. Y, S, O, T, C, W. M, F. Motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Damn, dog, you already knew. Oh, I, uh, I was born knowing. <clears throat> I was cursed with knowledge. <sighs> I get so much brain power. Which one should I do first, the chest or the computer? Uh, do you want to fight something? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just scared if I hit the chests, there's going to be a laser wall right here. Uh, or something. Or if I hit the computer. Uh, no, that's not going to happen. Are they just going to attack me if I open these first? No. <laughs> well. Swag. Mo money, mo money, mo money. Yeah. Uh, we memorize that for me. Triangle, circle, XX. Yeah, thank you. I'll write it down. Oh no, I'm under attack. No, I'm actually fine. Actually, <laughs> funny. <laughs> the grand buffoons <laughs> to think I won't slaughter them for their sweet juicy XP. <laughs> Because I'm going to slaughter them for their juicy XP. Did you just want to leave the room to see if you could? Yeah. Okay. Test they're, the power of God. Got this, like weird shadow surrounding them. Did you see that? No. Was it God's hands? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Can it was St. Elmo's Fire. What? What's St. Elmo's Fire? I know there's a song. Maybe a movie. There's a movie. St. Elmo's Fire is... I think it's a fairy thing. I'm not sure exactly what, like the story of it is but it's basically like when your like image is like surrounded by like a like a line of fire like mm. you're not on fire but like you've got like fire surrounding you fire clothes fire jumpsuit yeah or like your outline or something is like got like a hint of oh like super saiyans yeah why don't they just call it super saiyans the movie i think it predates uh, the Saiyans are an ancient race. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. Not unlike the US dollar, I too increase in value mm -hmm. over time. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Indeed, the Roonies. Here we go. Whoa. I just was like the idea that you, there are these rooms in this place where these robots are just like wandering around mm -hmm. presumably like endlessly as, as security but you can just like walk around them <laughs> but unless you touch them they won't interact with you I sure hope nobody bumps into me gently ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it ah oh, crap damn it Yep, here we are living our truth, living mm -hmm. our Babe Ruth, living our... Our truth. Don Bluth. Our truth? I understood that reference. It's a wrestling one. Yep, there we go. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the only wrestling review show within a Let's Play on YouTube or the internet in its infinitum. Welcome to Let's Talk. Today's topic. Am I about to get fucking dragged on the goddamn YouTube show I do? <laughs> Today's topic, our truth. He's a person that exists. Yeah. This has been Let's Talk. Okay, fine. I'll just say <laughs> I haven't watched wrestling for the past two weeks. <laughs> there. Now everyone can mock me openly. For everyone that's uh, tuning in pr primarily for our, our uh, cutting edge, relevant, and often three to four week old uh, by the time of publication wrestling content, uh -huh. Ton is behind <laughs> on wrestling. Go ahead and just fucking drag me in the comment section. That's I it. Guess. I wasn't gonna do it. I was just making the R Truth joke, but since Why don't, you brought it up. How about it just everyone does Preston's bidding and mocks me openly <laughs> in my home? Triangle circle. XX. Oh I see. Mm-hmm. <coughs> 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 Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's an oil barrel. Is it safe to put it on conveyor belts? Sexy, sexy. Sex, sex, sexy, sexy. Sex. Sex. Boop. Boop. The crane game. The crane. Brain grain. From the creators of Punch Roughly. The new summer blockbuster. Cuddle Softly. This August. Hello, my name is Cuddle Softly. The Crane. And I'm starring Cuddle Softly. <laughs> hey, Crane, how are. I want to escape from this hell I've created for myself. <laughs> yeah, you're done. Man. Yeah, I just got. I didn't realize I could just walk away. Wrong. Then you walk away. Give me your. I won't be ignored. Yeah, especially because the fights are so easy right now. Yeah, like why not? They're easy, but you still get, get like pretty good XP XP. from these guys. Yeah. It's like a, it's not a bad portion of the game to like get some grinding in. It's the first like really grindy spot that you've been in. Mm. It's really like the first dungeon where you're like circling and backtracking, and it's not just like. A linear hallway. I'm sorry, were you talking about Final Fantasy 13 for a minute there? Uh, we can. I played it uh, the other day. I'm fresh in my mind. I have some gripes about it. What are your gripes? Well, I'm really enjoying the characters. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty invested in their story. Mm -hmm. I really hate that I'm going through the most boring passageways and occasionally being rewarded with plot. It's is like it, I'm, I'm being breadcrumbed with interesting plot shit with which connects really boring hallways and forgettable places. That's how I feel. Do, like, just in general, you feel like the game suffers. This is a, a common yeah. critique I I feel like I've heard about Final Fantasy XIII. That it, yeah. Like, it's kind of just like running down a path. But I'm, I'm thinking about that, and then I'm thinking of like all of my favorite RPGs like amount more or less to that. Well, I've never been to a town where I can like stop by the inn. Oh, yeah, because they just, like, give you a shop at your save point. You can just shop, like, online. Yeah. I never meet Using villagers who are, like, card. reacting to this strange world. So it's all just, like... As far as I've gotten, like, allegedly villages. it changes. Really? Yeah. Where are you right now? <sighs> Man, everyone keeps getting together and breaking up. Um, Lightning and... <clears throat> I forget his name, because I always think it's something else. Hope, maybe? Mm-hmm are in that toxic zone with uh, monsters. Mm. Um, I think you're probably way past where I am. I've got pretty far. I'm not like stupid far. I'm, um, let me, it, it'd probably be better for me to tell you where I am. Yeah. I just got out of, um, I can't remember where, I, the vast something. Um, we just got out of like the Crystal Lake. Oh, it's so now got taken away yeah and then and then we're in like the next like area after that where it's like all junky and 
Like it's like all the like spare parts from them building. I'm a little bit past it. Um, Not stupid far, but yeah. Yeah, I guess I. I mean, I can see that. I. All right, that's the password for that door. Thanks, dog. Um. I. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't find like the the like hallway aspect of it to be super different from like any other dungeon. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'd rather have that than like if I think of like like I'm just going all the way back, right? No, 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 no. Stop. Uh, you can go back down to that other path to the right. No, no, no. All the way uh, down. Mm. Down that ladder. Down that ladder. Down the ladder, Tom. To the left. Yep. Uh -huh. Um. And you that, said you kept saying to the right. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, to, so not to the right. Yeah, the, the second thing that you did with the crane opened up this shortcut. I see. Okay. Um, and where am I going? <laughs> am I going through this the, door? Uh, no, the elevator. That door is nothing. I, oh, right, I think though? there's like money or something. I'm going to check. It, it's not a room. I can't remember if I come in here. Yeah. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, that's good, I guess. Um, yeah, I, uh, when I think of like really early generation RPGs where like dungeons were just like a, a grid mm -hmm. like a square grid with like rooms and like it was kind of just like a maze and then like then we have this which is like a little bit more evolved but essentially the same thing mm -hmm. and then later it's you know when you get into like 3D, 3D like environment rendering Mm -hmm. it, it becomes a little bit more like you're experiencing a world. But I don't know. It just doesn't feel like that much different to me. It's like I guess that I've only really had like I guess what I would consider like three like dungeon like sequences mm -hmm. so far in the game. The lake which is pretty much just you're on a winding path ever moving forward. Yeah. The um <clears throat> The uh, I forget what it's called, but the uh, the Falsy like temple vessel, which is pretty like labyrinthy and like it's got layers and stuff. I thought that was a legitimate dungeon put together fairly well, and you had pads that like opened up and closed off. But like, I mean, I guess you were moving uh, forward. It just had the appearance of being like there was only ever one way to go, unless you went on a very short dead end. Yeah. Um, and then the first area where you're just like running down like trains and stuff. Yeah. So it's been everything pretty straight right and just running down paths but the that i guess that yeah you're right like there were little dead ends that they put in for no reason mm -hmm. every now and then they have treasure right but for the most part yeah it's just been like straight line after straight line i guess i don't i don't know i just don't mind it that much it's it and I re that none of the areas are very memorable to me like the lake's pretty memorable but apart from that everything's just kind of like eh, yeah i went through some stuff but it's not yeah. like anything it's was contextualized pretty, it's all been pretty drab so far and I'm, I'm waiting to get like are you down onto on the planet yet i presume kind of the game goes down onto the actual i'm a little bit ships. fuzzy because it's been a while since i played okay i don't know i guess i'm just like but the party's I'm also looking split again forward to like the game opening up a little bit mm -hmm. that's exactly and so like if i guess if i finished the game and it was all just like moving straight ahead mm -hmm. then I'd be like oh <laughs> okay but it just feels like it doesn't feel dissimilar from like 3D beat-em-ups to me okay like some of them like turn like bend over onto each other but like for the most part yeah it just feels like I'm going down hallways and the only difference is now I've got turn-based combat <clears throat> instead of action combat I do actually like the combat. It's I, I think the combat's a little bit. great. It was I was little, pretty brain dead at first. It was super, but once like once you like get all the abilities and stuff and the paradigms and things like that, I think mm -hmm. that's really neat. And usually the like overcomplicated Final Fantasy combat systems, I'm not about them. Mm -hmm. But where this, am I going right now? This I like. You're gonna go. You have to go down one more le level. Okay. This I really like. Do you want to go along and just finish this? You're not like super far off from the end of this dungeon. That's your call. Yeah, let's slay it. Let's okay, finish this thing. Cool. Finish chatting about. We're already at. Uh, 
You know what? We're already at like 35 minutes. Maybe we, okay. should, just, maybe we should just call it. We can call it. Yeah. We'll catch up with all you cool cats. Yeah. On the flippity dippity. Absolutely. On that it, flippy drippy. In conclusion, Final Fantasy 13 fine to me so far, but the jury's kind of still out. We'll see yeah. where it goes. Enjoyable characters. Characters are great. Gameplay's a little bit wanting. Yeah. All right. We'll see you next time.